What's going on guys? It's Omni York and today I'm bringing you a brand new video. Yes, I am back. I'm going to be answering your questions and giving you guys a little bit of an update on where I've been. So in this video, I'm going to go over my comment section on YouTube that I have been neglecting for the last two weeks because I have been moving. If you guys saw my story on YouTube, you would know that I, uh, took all my stuff out of my apartment and moved to a new one. And I'm going to give you guys a quick update on that in just a minute, but I want to let you guys know the bulk of this video is going to be me answering your questions and comments on my YouTube videos. Now, this is an idea that I actually got from a friend of mine. Shout out to you, RK shout out to you, man. And I figured since I've been pretty much off of YouTube for the last week or two, um, this would be a good time to answer your questions in a live video format. And if you guys actually like this video idea, um, maybe I'll make it a series, maybe once a week or once every other week where I just answer all of your questions. Like for example, if you need, uh, you know, some advice on your account specifically, rather than general commander in information if you say oh you know i i messed up esong early on and now he's 5111 do i continue investing in him you know specific questions like that if you want me to make a series answering your specific questions comment down below right now just pause the video go down there comment down below telling me yes this is a great series idea and leave me a question for the next episode okay so if this goes well we'll have a, a, a part two if not then whatever now i'm gonna fill you guys in on my move and my life update so if you don't care about my life update and you just want to see me answer some rise of kingdoms questions you can skip this part of the video so a surprising amount of you actually watched my in uh, my story on youtube where i showed you guys i was moving I am using a temporary setup right now. So one of the reasons that I haven't been making videos sooner after moving is because I ordered desks as soon as I moved brand new desks and they arrived in like two days from Amazon and I was trying to build them at like 1130 at night and one of them was ended up being smaller than I thought. The other one ended up literally being broken where the base wouldn't attach to the actual desk table. It was a nightmare and I had to disassemble all of them at like midnight and I had to return them and I ordered new ones, but the new ones are taking longer to ship than the original ones. Somehow, I don't know, even though it's Amazon prime regardless. So I have a, a temporary setup right now, just so I could record this video for you guys. And I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. This is like a six cube organizer that I used for my game consoles. There's enough space between here and the wall for like literally my keyboard and that's it. Uh, there's like no mouse space or anything like that. Um, and the rest of my room is no better. Okay. There's boxes over here. There's my bookshelf. That's got like nothing on it. Those are cleaning supplies. Like there's just, there's stuff everywhere. Okay. The closet is a mess. I think there's more boxes like down there that you can't see. Um, but regardless, uh, if you guys have ever moved, you know, the struggle it's, it's, it's a long process and waiting for furniture to come is very frustrating. I can't, some of these boxes are filled with computer stuff that I can't set up without a desk. So I'm literally just living with boxes here until then. Regardless, um, that's kind of been my life update. That's been my life for the past two weeks. And uh, if you guys were wondering, a lot of people were asking where I was moving to. <laughs> some people asked if I was moving to LA. I would love that. Um, no, I, I still live in New York City. I still live in Queens. So Queens is a borough for those of you guys who are international. I live in Queens. Um, I moved from a neighborhood called Astoria to Long Island City. Um, but I'm still in Queens. I'm still in New York City. I'm only like a mile and a half away from my old apartment. Uh, but I just, it was, my lease was up. It was time to move. I had to get out of that place and, uh, it's been a crazy week. So that's been my life. Um, but I'm itching to get back to making videos for you guys. I missed the entire Halloween event. And I know there are plenty of rides of kingdoms, YouTubers who covered it and they did an incredible job. So, you know, you guys probably had no lack of content in that department. Um, but I did miss it. Right. And I want to, hopefully I can, uh, you know, I, well, I will be, I'll be making more content now and I can cover the Thanksgiving update and the Christmas and new years and, and cyber Monday and all that good stuff. So, um, a lot of stuff is happening in rise of kingdoms right now. And I'm very excited about all of that. I also did a little bit of testing with cavalry equipment. So I want to do a video talking about cavalry equipment coming very soon. I also want to do a video talking about city skins and stuff like that. So I have have some plans for some videos in the future and uh you know hopefully these desks arrive soon and i can get like back to business in case you guys wanted to know what i thought about the halloween event uh, i bought out all of the legendary commander sculptures i got this cosmetic thing 
and uh, I didn't get the permanent skin because I think infantry attack is not that impressive. I already have this skin that I'm using right now, which I think is better. I also think that the skin that comes with the new Lucerne scrolls is also better, right? This is the white tower gives you infantry health. I think that's much better at the expense of cavalry attack, which you know this is a good city skin right here so if you guys are looking for an infantry city skin go for the white tower in this lucerne scrolls uh don't i don't i just don't think you should get the the one from this halloween event unless you like how it looks cosmetically which i think it looks incredible but it is what it is it's just a very expensive skin and i'd rather have those legendary commander heads all right so for the remainder of this video we're gonna be in my youtube dashboard and we're gonna just be going over comments okay we're gonna go over comments i'm gonna answer your questions ones that i think are good questions reasonable questions and things that maybe you guys might care about so this question says what's the minimum setup of pc for us to play rock smoothly and this is on the video where i'm talking about uh, blue stacks shameless plug link in the description if you want to download rise of kingdoms for your pc or your mac blue stacks down below um I don't actually know what the minimum setup is honestly uh, i couldn't tell you i know some people with older computers do struggle uh with blue stacks because you're literally your computer is literally emulating a smaller computer so it does get to be a little bit intensive it's definitely gotten better over the last year or so um i've had really no huge issues with it but you know if you have an older laptop or something maybe you might and you would just have to try and, and edit those uh the settings in blue stacks uh <laughs> it's so hard working with only one monitor oh my god but yeah mess with the settings and we'll see um is a god on frederick the first coming anytime soon probably not i think um i've talked about freddy in in my videos i don't know maybe i'll make one just talking about why i don't think he's that great um but yeah i have no real plans of making a freddy guide unless you guys really want to see one uh this was on a call of duty video thank you now i know i've been being dumb about my spending don't think don't think that don't worry uh, is is Herman uh, I guess this is Herman right is Herman good with Yi Ye and if so who would be primary um they're both archer commanders so certainly they are good together um I think that Kusanoki is probably better if you're gonna pick an epic archer or even uh Kiera might be better um but yeah you could totally do Herman primary Yi Song secondary they have the same uh talent trees or at least the ones that you would care about in the open actually no they do have the exact same talent trees um so yeah you could do either primary it doesn't really matter if you no matter which one you do you're gonna be targeted in the open fields either because you have an epic out or because people want to kill Isong. so yeah they do have very um, they do synergize very well but it's gonna be uh, you're gonna be a huge target all right this is a long one it says Omni favor to ask about an odd topic but what tips can you give for sabotaging a kingdom and upcoming kvk um, our alliance was recruited to a kingdom and leadership broke all their promises forcing us to send top power players to their alliance or be zeroed we are bubbled up and teleported to a hive in zone one but we can't live like this for the next 28 days before we can migrate to a new kingdom kvk is starting before we leave and we feel like being petty they won't even give us titles and our burning flags for the shell alliance they gave us 5 billion versus 10 billion alliances so we can't just fight our way out any recommendations for just being a pain in their necks and making life as hard as possible for the next month crazy i know but here we are p.s looking forward to cold war vids cod is how i originally found you then cool to refind you for rise of kingdoms that's really cool um i really appreciate that i can't believe that that's actually crazy if you're gonna be i think there's a time and place for being petty and if there is gonna be a time and place this is probably it right and i can't blame you i would probably want to be petty in this scenario as well if a kingdom makes promises and then you migrate a whole alliance there and then they they fall through what can you do right uh, the fact that you can't fight your way out of this is frustrating what i would say though is um probably just kill their farmers <laughs> like maybe organize small groups of you guys um to just teleport like okay we're gonna at at uh 1500 utc we're uh, gonna teleport all five of us are gonna teleport somewhere into zone three or whatever wherever you can really uh and uh and just start killing farmers or if you wanted to you could try to um, burn their farm accounts if their farm accounts are in zone one i don't know why they would be they're probably in zone three but uh yeah those are the only things that i can really think of you know if you really want to be petty but keep in mind like by being petty you are wasting troops and resources so that's a trade-off there if it's worth it to you then go ahead and do that uh, that's what i would do i would probably start killing farmers and farm accounts uh, this comment says normal people wow new game me is that a clone of clash of clans this is a weird thing people keep saying this is a clone of clash of clans there's literally they're totally different games like they're, they're not even close i don't know whatever uh hopefully out of portuguese empire civilization that would be cool any right any new civilization that's what i want just anything 
Uh, my Alex skill now is 5511. I focused to level 60. Omni, do you have some advice for my Alex? Um, I would say if you have an expertise E Song Ye, I would do that um, first and then come back and uh, maybe expertise your Alex as well. But 5511 is a usable, good starting point for your Alex. Um, and I think the fact that he has the attack. Uh, talent tree does make him good as a primary commander in some instances i can't really say if you should bring him to 60 or not because i don't know what other commanders you have like if you have like a maxed martel and richard and all that other stuff then maybe you don't need him maxed uh to level 60 because that might be a waste of experience but i don't know if if you don't have those to level 60 then yeah maybe you do want an alex as your primary um is this a money magnet like rise of kingdom so they're talking about age of apes here um honestly i haven't been playing age of apes uh it was fun when i first started playing it it was just like new and fresh and and you know it is what it is um but i i don't know i just i i couldn't i it didn't pull me in like rise of kingdoms like just ark of osiris and kingdom versus kingdom are just such massive awesome events uh and other clones of rock don't seem to have that so um maybe i'll come back to to age of apes uh, to answer that question uh yeah you can you can spend money in, in age of apes just like you can spend in rise of kingdoms um whether that's a good thing or a bad thing or too pay to win or not enough free to play i don't know uh it is what it is uh this guy is asking me how i like my gaming chair after a few months i love it it's got the lumbar support it uh, reclines pretty far back so i i'm a fan i do really enjoy this chair uh and there is a link in the description if you guys want to check it out hello man wanting to uh, want to ask you if i have richard 5511 martel 5511 alex max esong max what is the best pairs for everything especially in open field as infantry player please need the answer thanks anyway so i feel bad i'm four days late on this one this really depends on the scenario he did say that he's using these in the open field um now i also imagine you probably have a max stone of arc and you also probably have a maxed uh, sun Tzu as well so that's another two commanders that you could throw into this uh, mix here however um a standard pairing would be a richard martel and an alex esong um for maximum uh tank and maximum damage uh what i also have found really useful is doing a uh richard alex or vice versa richard primary if you want him if you want tankiness alex primary if you want more damage uh and if you think you're gonna get swarmed richard alex is a nice pairing and then uh, martel and esong is also a pretty decent pairing that's not a pairing that i see very often um but it is certainly uh one that i really enjoy because you're going to be um when they see esong they're gonna want to swarm it down uh, and Martel, if he, you know, he has that extra counter attack damage, which is really nice. So yeah, I think, uh, Alex Esong is probably a better pairing than Martel Esong, but, um, I also just really love Richard Alex. I don't know why it's just a really, it's a favorite of mine. Um, now again, if you do have Joan and Sun Tzu, you could do Richard with Joan, Martel with Sun Tzu, and then Alex with Esong. That's another pairing. Or you could do, um, Martel with Esong, Alex with uh sun Tzu and then richard and joan uh there's a lot of different pairings that you could do and it really just uh depends on what it is that you need in that specific scenario right like if it's light versus darkness obviously you're probably going to want to use uh like a richard alex or something like that or a richard esong um more than you would want to do like a martel esong because uh, the healing on Richard is just going to be so valuable in the ruin. So those are things to consider. So this guy says purchases banned in our country. Omniar, can you help us with a solution to bypass it? Um, so here's the, I'm assuming this player is maybe from India. I'm pretty sure India, um, banned purchases in rise of kingdoms. I don't really know what that scenario looks like, but here's the thing. Um, there may be ways to get around that ban. However, if your government is banning purchases in this in, purchases in this game, uh, I am in no position to give you tips or advice on how to break your local laws. So, uh, first off, I don't actually know the answer to this. Uh, and second off, even if I did, I don't think that, um, I think if I gave you that solution, if I were to figure it out and give you that solution, uh, then it may, it may be illegal for you. And, and that would just put liability on me. And that's not something that I'm really interested in doing. So yeah, it depends what country you're in. There's probably a way that again, this is probably illegal, but if I'm just guessing, there's probably a way that you could change your region or, or your, um, or whatever on your device and potentially trick the play store into thinking that you're 
in a different country do you even have the play store where you live see these are things that i don't know um but yeah just keep in mind that if you do bypass this it's probably illegal and you probably shouldn't do that this person says what about looser and scrolls is it worth it to buy that is up to you uh the cool thing about looser and scrolls is it tells you what all the rewards are up front and you can make that decision if you think that it's worth it to you right um in this new looser and scrolls season seven um or volume seven whatever the city skin is level 80 now so that is unfortunate uh which means that you will have to um you will have to either buy the the $20 bundle to guarantee that you get there or you'll have to buy the $5 bundle and then also uh gem your way up there with uh probably like 7,000 gems or something like that or 10,000 I don't remember um so it's up to you if that's really worth it honestly um I think the city skin this time around is pretty good but yeah I think if you're a low spender uh 20 bucks for for the Lucian scrolls is not a great purchase honestly is Cao Cao Genghis Khan better than Cao Cao Minamoto for farm killing who's faster um, I want to say probably Cao Cao Minamoto, but I, I don't really know. Uh, because the thing about Khan is you really want him as the primary commander, and I actually talked about that in that video. But when you're killing farms, you really want to use a mobility commander as the primary. And so in this instance, you're going to have Cao Cao as the primary. Um, so really, is Khan a better secondary than Minamoto in this instance? I don't know. I would say they're probably pretty comparable, but I... I'm going to go towards Minamoto for this specific example. All right, those are all the questions that are going to do it for this video. Again, if you guys think this is a good video idea, make sure you comment down below letting me know that you want to see this as a recurring series where I answer your specific questions in a video. And of course, comment some questions down below that I can use for the next one. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, hopefully you found it entertaining or useful. And if you did, make sure you smack a thumbs up on it. And if you're new around here, subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload some Rise of Kingdoms videos. As always, my social media links are in the description below so make sure you go ahead and follow me over on instagram especially is important uh when i'm not on youtube i'm on instagram make sure you follow me over on twitter as well as my discord server and my twitch hopefully once i'm up and running here i can start live streaming again because i really do actually miss that i used to live stream a lot earlier this year and i've fallen off around uh the beginning of september finally like i mentioned before there's a link in the description to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your pc or your mac it's a program called blue stacks and it's my favorite way to play rise of kingdoms and like i said it's absolutely free Free, so it doesn't hurt to go ahead and give it a shot with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i'll talk to you guys again soon peace